Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode we're going to go and start looking at the armour from Pneumatic Raft Repressurized. The first thing we need to have a look at is some bees and then we're going to have a quick look at a villager farm. So let's have all oh, villager farming. So let's have a look at that start away with the bees. So here we've got a leperine queen which only comes out at this time of year um, for a quite quite short period of time so this one is a normal life one slowest worker and it's been 11 generations in captivity so it's taken me about 11 generations to get this one bred uh, I've got a few more as it happens in these chests and the way you do those is you basically mix a forestry and a meadows princess uh, or drones together and when you've done that you should get you should either get a common or a leperine so uh, when we've got leperine and they give you silky comb and eggs because it's Easter time Silky comb is also quite useful because that means you can then start to use these bees for producing um, woven fabric, silk fabric and stuff like that. So that's the bees. And over there you can see the villager farm. I've actually built two, but this one's by Frill Frilloth, I think it's called, and it's actually quite a neat one. So it generates little villagers. Here I've got a villager. Now I have a slight problem. I should be able to left click this guy and pick him up. I can't. What I can't also do, I can I can left click a flower, that's no problem at all, I can do that. But I can't even think, like left click this clock for instance, if you left click it, it doesn't matter what I use, pick out whether I'm left clicking it, it's not doing anything. I can right click it all right, and it might be related to this other problem I've got here of taking things out of here for example. If I take a dirt out of here like that, I get a dirt. If I take taking a second dirt out of that, I don't get one. If I change the slot and try and I get another one, if I do it a third time, it doesn't get me. Go back to the first slot and you keep doing that that way. Well, that's not very helpful, is it? Anyway, I think that's part of this because I should be able to get him. So the way I've been doing it is a little workaround. I put a flower here, put him in line, and left click him like that, and it picks him up. And then we'll break this minecart again. Uh, I can't break these either. I should be able to break a mine cart with a pickaxe. It doesn't seem to work. Don't ask me what, or even a hand. It should be wobbling. It seems to have broken anyway. Let's just go back and right click it <laughs> with the shuriken and it picks it up. Not daft. Anyway, so let's put that back into this dispenser. I'm not going to show you this this design. It's uh, it's very simple actually. It wouldn't take me too long to build. Even even here. So I've got a. As you can see, sort of in the sky type, unrealistic type village with one villager in it. And there's two villagers here, which are the ones which do the breeding for us. So all I have to do is give him some food and they'll make some more. In fact, they might even make some more. And I think they've got enough food at the moment to actually produce another one or two offspring. And when the offspring come out, they get put into the water here like this. And then the water pushes them to this corner and the minecart takes them through the wall and out over here and drops them where you saw him before. Right there, so then I can take him and I can put him in the village. So let's go and do that as well. The village, or where I've been keeping the villages at the moment, is over here, which is quite good because that's going to take me on to the next part of the a bit to do with armor. So I just put the villages down like this, and I've already got another baby, which I think is probably a leather worker. And you see, I've got quite a few useful ones in here as well. Uh, including a mechanic and whatever else and a couple of bits it sort of disturbs me with the noises <laughs> anyway so let's get on and have a look at this oh I've forgotten something I'll come back in a second with that right so we have our armour let's come over here I've actually got the armour with me I've got these pieces we made them last time I, had, I was wearing them for a bit I've charged them all up to max so we've got some I've got some magnet arm upgrades in the in the chest plate and the pneumatic nothing else has got any upgrades in it so let's first of all let's put this stuff on i'm going to take these what i've got off on at the moment off and put these on now it's going to charge up as you can see like this so what i'm going to do and it's telling you what's been uh done so you've got what i've got and what i haven't got so it's saying everything's complete now now that was actually a relatively slow process so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off the all that armor again 
like this because the first thing we actually have to do is enable the armor so we actually <laughs> didn't do that i didn't show you that last time but if you press u and i think my arms have changed my u control let's just press escape go to options and controls and have a look at pneumatic craft oh it is you so of course i just have to press u on that one done so if i press u it should pick it up my stuff why am i not picking it up it should show me the control it's not maybe it's got a conflict on there so I'll, I'll resolve the conflict in a second but let's put into here the chest piece and uh, the leggings here's some leggings when you put it in here you get this green arrow up here to manage your art your upgrades for pneumatic graph so you can select this one here and then it shows you all on down the side here what the different upgrades are so one of these upgrades is a speed upgrade so with one or more speed upgrades installing your leggings will be able to run faster up to three speed upgrades can be installed uh, for progressively faster speeds and higher air usage so let's do that so what you do is you just take the up speed upgrades and shift click those into there and then come out of that let me put those on oh no i don't want them on yet i want them off <laughs> I should be, I'm just wondering why I can't uh, do the U. Let me just put these on. Press escape. Can I press U now? Ah, oh, yes, I can. Let's just disable the armor. That's what I want to do. So let's put now, put all of the armor on so it doesn't initialize. Because one of the things, now we can initialize the armor. So let's go and press U again and then enable the pneumatic craft armor. I always forget to do this. But you've got step assist here, which is enabled. We've got run, which have also enabled, and the boost is 100%. And the magnets enabled on the on the armor plate uh, on the chest plate as you can see here and the general one and what you can do with this is you could sort of move the pressure stat screen so that one is here at the moment it's actually a little bit higher i would like to move it down to the bottom here like this and i think you just press escape to to come out of that you do and you've got the message screen in here which is actually i think is all right because on the top left hand side here we're going to have uh, one probe so this is just misses the one probe and on the right hand side here we would have had the uh, journey map most of the time so that's why I moved it down onto that side like that so that so that'll do now so when I go and I'm getting pushed around by this <laughs> drone <laughs> he wants to get back so now what if I press go now and, and enable the armor you can see what happens let's do that now you'll see the leggings are charging up at a lot faster rate than the, anything else and that's one of the other features of the leggings uh, of the speed upgrades now how to make up speed upgrades let's do that one first because that's actually one of the more no, i suppose interesting ones really so we need a speed upgrade let's go yeah let's go in here and look at the speed upgrades is this one and then it's got one recipe now if we have a look at this recipe more carefully we can take this bucket of lubricant out of here and instead of the lubricant what we can put in its place is a um a fluid popper with liquid uh, with with uh, what, I'm, just, I'm having difficulty at the moment fluid hopper with some liquid uh let's have a look here we got it yeah with lubricant in it so this has got 16 buckets of lubricant in here so we can then put this into here like this and then we can take the rest of these here and move these around the outside like that and it'll give me 15 i really want more i want i want to make all 16 of these things oops didn't work try again see one one of them's got all of them so anyway it doesn't matter much i'll put the do the sugar as well that's got me 15 as well so i can shift click this now and i'll get 15 upgrade or 14 upgrades because i messed up this one so let's just do that again and put that over there so now I've got rid of those two. Actually, I should be able to make another one, shouldn't I? So let's just make another one of these and do it like this. And then we can get the 16th one without the bucket. So like that. So that's an easy way because crafting one bucket at a time is always a bit of a pain. Of course, the other thing I could do is I could put it through the um, assembler, which I have built. And I'm using that one for making things like uh, uh, treated wood planks. So anyway, now we can go and put these speed upgrades into the rest of the armor. And basically what you're doing is you're basically taking it out and looking at this. So what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to do 
all of that at the moment. We're just going to put two in each one. So we'll just put two in each of these, except for the leggings. We'll put another one in the leggings up to three. So then we click this and we have a look at the different upgrades we've got. Then we can put some armor upgrades in here. A block tracker, which we'll come to later on. I'm not going to tell you much about these because you can click this one here and you can read it for yourself. So, so the armor upgrades adds a small amount of armor protection to the armor. So two upgrades will bring the armor level up to diamond. So we're allowed to do that up to six, which is going to put it well above diamond. So a max you know, installs for excellent protection. The block tracker. This is basically truck tracks chests and mobs and spawners actually going to be a very good one i think this is one of the ones i'm probably going to like a lot because we can combine the block trapper with the entity upgrade here so you can see the so you can see creepers sneaking up on you that's a nice one to have and it's a range of 16 blocks and you can increase the range with this one a range upgrade so it's also good for this it increases the range of the block and the entity tracker upgrades so five grade upgrades can be installed so which increases the range by five blocks but also increases the air usage now to get around that, around this air usage every one of these includes air usage you can put a volume upgrade in here and that one increases the amount of air it can contain now does it say how many is the maximum of this it doesn't actually normally it does and then next one down we've got dispense upgrade so when used in con in conjunction with the entity tracker upgrade the dispense upgrade allows debugging and monitoring of active drones aha so let's do this one i think that we're going to do this we're going to put in some armor upgrades in here we've got those already defined uh, made so we'll do that well, actually what i'll do is i'll put all this together just put two into each one like that get that out of the way so that I'm not going to show you all the recipes of this. They're all fairly easy as it happens. We've got, I've got an entity tracker upgrade here. I don't need two. One of those I was going to build for a drone. Range upgrades will have a range upgrade. Um, you can also use these <clears throat> not only in drones, but whereas in the um, mini guns or the sentry towers. So if you look at the uses of that one, uh, shift is the one that's have to use. The yes, so you can put it in the air cannon, the drone, the mini gun. Pneumatic helmet, security station, and universal sensor. Well, the only ones I'm really interested in is probably the minigun and the pneumatic uh, helmet. I don't think we need to do anything to do with the oh, and the drone. But the drone and the minigun is basically the same thing, and it's, it's the same thing in all of these things in here, like this. So you can see everything what gets affected. Let's take the armor upgrades in here. There's jet boots as well. Now, this, there's a couple of these which are actually slightly tricky. Now, where is it? Ah, yes. So, for example, one of the ones I'd like to do is the night vision one, which is this one here. It's a little bit tricky because you've got to use eight minute night vision potion. So let's just, I think I should be able to do that here. Let's just do that one if I can. I think I've got everything we need for that. So that's one of the things you've got to watch out for. That is that one. The other one that's actually was also slightly tricky was the jet boots. You've got to use these vortex cannon, but they've got to be powered uh, to 10 bar. So they've got to put pressure in there. If you don't put pressure in those, it doesn't doesn't work. You can't actually assemble the part or craft the part. Life upgrade is another very useful one. This basically repairs the items. And I'm going to make some of these as well. I hopefully I have got enough to make four and I have only got enough to make one. No, mind, we'll do the rest of those in a minute. But I'll, I'll install that into one of the machines to start with. I don't need this flower with me. Let's just move that out of the way. So let's go and put this stuff into into these items in here. So that's this one. Now it's actually yes, it's got ten bar in here, so that's okay. So let's put in here say so two armor upgrades, two speed upgrades. This one isn't damaged as it oh it is damaged this one isn't it yes so we'll put the item life upgrade and that'll will cause it to repair we'll put night vision in here um entity tracker i think is the one i wanted to put in here and a range upgrade so i've put almost everything into the helmet now when you click this button you'll notice that the pressure's gone down 
so it should drop right down actually the helmet should drop oh it hasn't done because i haven't put in the volume upgrades or have i no nope, i haven't put any volume upgrades let's go and get a volume upgrade i might not have made those actually let's have a look oh yes i have made 10. i have to put the volume upgrades in which basically gives it more air so the air will last longer when you're actually doing things so let's put two of those into there like that and you see then the pressure went down so the pressure went down to just over five five and a half or something like that so when you press escape out of here it's going to start charging this up anyway and i'm going to go and do the same thing on the next piece of armor so let's put that put that back into my head slot you'll see it's damaged and now it's going to it's powering up as you can hear and as soon as it powers up you're going to see this is going to start repairing itself um there it goes the durability has just gone up by one so your arm is never going to wear out so the next one's the chest upgrade oh, let's put that one into here and have a look at what upgrades you've got into this as well so security one's always there it basically stops it from blowing up speed upgrades well i'm going to put two speed upgrades in there we're going to put two volume upgrades into here because it and maybe even more actually um let's put four let's put four volume upgrades in there because then we can because it's one of the ones which is going to use all of the bits and pieces what else can we have in here magnets we've got life item life we've got dispenser so what does the dispenser do so this one will actually launch items and blocks from your offhand by pressing and releasing control c by default some items and blocks are handled especially so deploying the item block as an entity similar to the way the dispenser would operate items which don't have special handling will be simply launched as an item entity okay blocks well, well that's, i'm not sure so we can throw them greater distance with more upgrades so anyway let's put in just one of those for the time being and obviously we need two to shield and that's probably about it for this one but it has this charging module in here this charging module basically allows you to charge your other items in your inventory from the chest plate that's why it's a good idea to have a lot of volume ones in here so let's click that off now and put that back again and have a look at the leggings so as you see we've already got speed upgrades in there. let's add another one because the maximum of three wasn't the so oops 14 i think it's just uh, half that and it's half that again it'll give me three so we'll put two armor upgrades in here and uh, what else can we put in a range upgrade so you'll be able to jump higher okay up to six range upgrades can be to aggressively higher jumps okay obviously use more air that's why we put the volume upgrades in here let's put two volume upgrades in here like this so it's a kit so what's it say we'll use the jump height equivalent to a single range upgrade oh, okay holding pressing shift no need to uh, so only pretty get full protection as well so we'll put in some range upgrades into this one let's put in two and see how far we do and then click that one off and then put this one back into here i need to put an item repair around to that one and let's look at the boots lastly and have a look at that one so speed as usual okay we'll put speed put two speed upgrades in there we'll put two of these up and the actual speed on this case allows it just to charge up faster volume is then we've already covered that um which we want to put those in too the armor dispenser upgrade so it allows you to kick uh, entities in front of you at a modest cost of air so um so it gives them a knockback this works on non-living items as well so let's just try this i'll put one of those in there item repair and jet boots well the jet boots well actually we'll go and put those in. let's go and get those and put those in as well these aren't actually all that uh special <laughs> they don't give you flight is what i mean they are sort of special but and you can have multiple of these in here so you can have up to 10. so what this does let's press this off now and then take this out and put it on so it says my chest plate is already almost out of air because it's just charged up everything else <laughs> 
like this 0.5 bar because it's been checked because I use this to pressure up all of these and these are all got now 5 bar and it actually reduces the pressure of this one in fact that should equalize I would have thought but it, it doesn't so I'm going to have to charge this up later on I suppose it's going to complain about that auto charger is not installed so it has an auto charger I didn't notice that one is that the so we have to install an auto charger and then it'll actually it should automatically install we can stand on here of course that's the other option and that will also charge things up but the air, this one takes quite a long time so it can yes and in fact it should tell you even when it's upgraded i'm just wondering where the auto charger was in that one let's have a look let's put that back into here again because i think i missed something there unless the auto charger is this one the charging upgrade so this one yes charges all your upgrades automatically actually i'm a bit surprised okay so you can what's it say so you can charge up all of your items from the chest plate even if they're carried or not carried so you can install up six upgrades to increase the charging rate so the fact the more upgrades you put into that is the faster it charges up and this one the recipe for the charging upgrade is actually not too bad. Let's take this out of here and put it on. So now, let's have a demonstrate of the boots. So of course we have to enable all of this stuff. Let's just do that before I forget. So we've got jump boots, which is by default is not enabled. And you've got a pneumatic key. So that's bound to control X. So we don't have to en enable that one. So step assist was already done jump boost let's enable jump boost run speed's already done item launcher we don't have to do anything that's control c magnets enabled and that uses up this one uses up air when you actually take things night vision that will actually use air so we can right click to bind a key press key to bind it what should we use for night vision i have no idea let's just try p and just see if that actually works. So enable the light vision. Entity tracker. So we can actually search for entities. I'm not going to do that at the end. Uh, at the moment. Until we've actually got something there. So let's have a look now. So if I press F5. And then press F5 again. So, and then walk off here. Uh, let's press F1. Just remove this. And then just walk forward. Oh, didn't see that, do we? Let's carry on up here. Uh, oh, let's just walk. Oh, I need to go forward tonight. <laughs> Can't see it. <laughs> well, I can see other things, but not that. Let's try again. Uh, I'm not sure how to do that, demonstrate that very well. So look, it should be able to do. You can hear it, but it should actually sort of give me jet. Pa I've seen it before with jet pad parcels. Let's see if I can run over. Can I actually get up here? No, I can't. Oh, there you are. So it actually got activated by pressing space. I'm not quite sure why I'm disappearing down. Oh, maybe that's the uh, the button to do it. Right, there we go. I think my uh, display has moved to a very strange place as well. I'll have to put that back again. I'll do that and come. I'll come back in a second when I'm prepared again. Well, my pressure stat screen. I can't seem to be moving that very well. So let's just uh, go over here. If I press the space bar, I should go up. But it's, it seems to take me up slowly. I'm. I'll have to get used to this upgrade. I'm not sure that it's actually working for me just yet. If I can, I, can I get up here? Not with a jetpack. Not with that on. I'll tell you what we'll do. I've got night vision on as well, haven't I? Why have I got night vision on? Did I enable night vision? Oh, I think I connected that to that to P, didn't I? Uh, night vision disabled. Actually, my screen is a little bit small. I'm not sure what's happened there. Maybe I need to restart. Uh, if I do that, probably, it'll probably fix it again. So let's have a look now at... Um, I'm not looking in there because I wanted to get the jump boost on, didn't I? So let's turn off the jet boots for the time being. But the, the jump boost should be enabled. So I should be able to just come back here now and walk up. Yeah, and I can jump on top of that. So that's, that's basically two block jump with the ones I've got installed. Which is great. And they're moving very fast. I'm just walking now. So this is just walk speed. That's walk speed. Let's get some running going. See how fast that is. That's uh, fairly decent, isn't it? 
I've got another village you have to pick him up. I will do that and come straight back again. So what we're going to have now is have a quick look at the other village farm. I think this one, the problem with this is it's too far away. And I can't, um, oops, <laughs> gosh, I didn't mean to do that. Of course, once you get into water, it gets some of that was fast. I have to jump over here, but I've got a bridge. I'll just go over the bridge. I think this is too far away from where I'm normally working, so it's, it gets a little bit difficult. Oops, I've just fallen in the water again. Excuse me, what am I doing wrong here today? Can I get out of this? No, I have to break the bar. There we go. Well, that was fast. Anyway, some more villages in here. This is a different design done by Impulse SV. Uh, it's, actually, it's actually a nice design. It's quite easy to build this one. And the only change I made on this is to put uh, greenhouse glass from Serene Seasons, as you can see. But they don't breed. They're not actually farming the, the land. You see, this one here, is, they're just basically regenerating because I put in here some um, an apiary with some some bees in the imperial bees so they're basically giving that so they've got the big effect now here of course is a a gun and i could put in here an anti -tra tracker and a does that not work so i could put the anti tracker into here no i can't i can put the re range upgrade into that and i can filter it on mob and it'll use some ammo the ammo is actually not too expensive let's double check this okay so it just increases the range of the sentry turret it does its own own tracking so there we are this one so basically will, will zap any uh, zombies which are around actually any mobs but mostly zombies because the, the villagers so the zombies always coming around like that so next episode so next time we're going to be having a look at some more things in fact i've just figured out what's wrong with my pressure window if i press f1 to turn off the um sort of the display it moves into the middle at the top of the screen put it back again it goes there so anyway next time what we're going to have a look at is the um sentry tower and we'll make one of those and put some stuff in and basically to protect the, the villagers we're also going to look at the a drone we'll build a drone to actually just basically grind some mobs for us and we're also going to have a look at the aerial interface from pneumatograph and pressurized and see what that can do for us so until then Bye for now.